Now, if you know the Baltimore Ravens, you know on offense, they pride themselves on running the ball. That is their bread and butter. That's where everything starts and a lot of times everything finishes. Um, so last year was an anomaly for the Ravens. While statistically they were still technically a good rushing team, it wasn't the same as it's been in years before. Uh, one of those reasons was because the offensive line was just uh, big yikes. Uh, but an even bigger reason was because they lost J.K. Dobbins, they lost Gus Edwards, and they lost Justice Hill. Uh, but probably even bigger reason because they lost Lamar Jackson. Um, but this year, going into 2022 season, uh, the expectation is that J.K. Dobbins, he can come back at full strength. Gus Edwards, he can come back at full strength. Justice Hill can come back at full strength. And maybe they sprinkle in a little bit of Tyson Williams. Hey, who knows? Uh, but with that being said, there's a lot of unknown. Because even though you expect somebody to be back, you expect somebody to be healthy, especially since all three of those running backs, they missed the entire year. Not one, All, all three of them were done uh, before week four of the preseason. So with that being said, stay ready. So you ain't got to get ready. You always need to have a contingency plan. You always need to have a backup plan in place just in case. Even if rehab is going great, even if the surgery went clean, even if right now those guys are looking good, you still just don't know. So that's why I wasn't mad when I saw the report that we all did this morning that the Ravens are talking to Melvin Gordon about a deal. Uh, let's read the report from Ian Rappaport. He said, a free agent running back Melvin Gordon, the top player available at his position, is in discussions with the Ravens on a potential deal. So it said, uh, the Broncos starter is a person of interest in Baltimore. Don't, don't make it sound like he's like a criminal or something. Don't, don't that sound like, make it sound like a criminal, a person of interest. Anyway, um, which still has a need at running back. So the Ravens are talking to Melvin Gordon about a potential deal. Um, and so that's legitimate interest. <laughs> you better hope you don't get a chance to go play in L.A. again. Because who is? <laughs> anyway, um, so I, I'm not mad at this. Uh, and Melvin Gordon is somebody who I was looking at his numbers. I was like, oh, OK, Melvin. OK, MG. Um, I was like, oh, he's surprisingly still very productive over these past couple of years with the Broncos. Uh, he had 900, 986 rushing yards in 2020 and had nine touchdowns to go along with it. Then last year, he had 918 yards uh, and got eight touchdowns to go with. And his average is uh, he averaged 4.6 yards in 2020 and, and 4.5 yards in 2021. So it's not. And, and again, last year. You, it was hard to um, be over, overly critical of the Ravens' uh, attempts to just salvage their run game or salvage their running backs because it just all, it's like it all happened all at once. And it, it was so sad to see. Um, but I, I was very upset with the lack of use of one of their younger running backs who showed the best flashes. But anyway, another, another topic for another day. Um, but when they signed a Devontae Freeman, it was like, oh, okay. But when they signed Le'Veon Bell, it was like, oh, okay. Uh, they signed Latavius Murray, it was like, oh, okay, okay. It could be like August Edwards or something like that. But it just, it didn't work out. It, it didn't work out. And, and I think one of the biggest reasons for that was because there was just a lack of uh, familiarity with the system. Lack of familiarity with Lamar Jackson, and that was a big reason I think a lot of those RPOs, they were gone last year. They were not a part of the Ravens game last year because those guys weren't there in training camp. They got picked up right before the season started. So they had to have a lot of OJT, that on-the-job training. They had to learn as they went. They had to learn as the season went. And we saw it worked for Devontae Freeman. He started off a little bit slow. I was like, ooh, okay. Well, he got a little something left in the tank, but that tank might be running on E soon. But he said, no, 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 no. Let me fill it up. Um, and he let let it be known that he could still play. Um, and I was actually, I was for sure confident that he was going to be somebody that they brought back. I thought that he would be somebody that they brought back on like a cheap deal like in and, and a deal that wouldn't have like no real guarantees in it and I thought he was going to be sort of like a camp body at running back so they could really see what they had 
in a uh, Gus Edwards and J.K. Dobbins and Justice Hill to see if their guys were all the way back yet or if they still needed some time. Because, again, like we said earlier, the expectation is that they're going to be ready. But at the same time, you just you got to play it smart and you got to play it safe. And not, you don't you don't want to necessarily act like they won't be ready. But again, you got to have a plan in place. And you know what? I, I, I do respect this plan because this is quality over quantity. It is because um, this is somebody that can still start. It's somebody that's, that's, that's still a starter. And we know, um, I believe it was uh, Javante Williams that is the Broncos' young up-and-coming running back. Because that, that, that was the one that dra- drug Marlon Humphrey like 20 yards. <laughs> boy, that boy, that boy said Marlon Humphrey for a ride last year, man. He took him for a ride, man. Like 20 yards up the field. I was like, ooh, that was so nasty. But Ravens, they, they, they tightened up after that. They really did. Um, but, yeah, Melvin Gordon, again, uh, quality, man quality so you looked at a Devontae Freeman last year and then you look at Melvin Gordon now and and last year too and you compared it too and it's like oh okay he still got some good legs up under him even though Devontae Freeman did too now but um I'm I'm not mad at this move at all now um a couple things to watch for uh because when we find out the details of the con well hold up he 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 gotta even get a contract first and this is a running back. It's not a receiver. It's not a uh, offensive line, but it's a running back. So you know, like you got to feel like this deal is gonna get done for sure because it's a running back. But anyway, um, <laughs> let's see if this deal gets done, which I do expect it to. The details of the deal will tell us a lot about how they feel about Melvin Gordon and how they feel about J.K. Dobbins and Gus Edwards as well. The reason I say that, um, the terms of the deal, the length of the deal. Um, and with the Ravens cap room, since the Ravens, they always strapped for cash, um, with their cap room, uh, you could expect it to be like a two year deal. Um, maybe a two year deal with an option, maybe a two year deal with all the guarantees on the first year. Um, and not much in the second year. So they can sort of stretch out the cap hit a bit. Um, but as far as the money, the money will tell me, uh, if they really do plan on keeping him on the roster, uh, for this season if they really plan on him being there for the entirety uh, of the season now with the timing of well the possibility of the timing of this possible deal um, this this deal's done right now around this time they're usually guys that are there for the uh, for the season um, usually if a guy is signed like after the draft maybe a, a, like in June July uh, those guys they it could be a little bit shaky um, but th- if they were to sign him now, uh, it would tell me it would let me know that they probably want to keep him around. But another thing too, um, if they do sign Melvin Gordon, that'll probably be the end of Justice Hill. And with Justice Hill, um, I remember last year they and I I, I should have done research on it because I've been meaning to for the longest, but I always forget. Last year when they put Justice Hill on injury reserve, they put him on like this. It was called like waived injury reserve. It was something like that. It was not regular injury reserve. It was like waived injury reserve. So I figured what that meant was that they were waiving him from the team, like cutting him from the team. And if nobody claimed him, then he would revert back to injury reserve for the Ravens. And then maybe the following season, he might be a free agent. But I I don't know what the status is on it because... Whenever I would see like Ravens, uh, their cap numbers and different people on the team's cap hits, I would always see Justice Hill on there. So I'm not sure what the wave injury reserve was. But regardless, if they with them signing Melvin Gordon, if I keep saying win, but if they sign Melvin Gordon, because, again, sometimes some of these things fall through. I mean, (laughs) ask the Ravens. They know all about it. They've been getting turned down all summer. But well, all spring ain't summertime yet. Uh, But. If um, if this does go according to their plan, um, then that will probably mark the end of Justice Hill. Uh, so that would be something to think about. So we'll see. Um, anyway, team, keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. We got a uh, very busy Friday coming up. 
Uh, so y'all make sure you turn your notifications on um, so you could stay up to date with whatever it is that's going on with the Ravens uh, and anything else that we may have in store, too. I love y'all. And again, I appreciate you all. Thank you for 53,000 subscribers. Um, that's that's a lot of people and a lot of crazy people that made the decision to click that subscribe button. But I appreciate you all uh, for sticking it out with me. Um, I appreciate you all for supporting um, and thank you for allowing this to be so much fun. For, thank you for y'all not taking anything too seriously. We're not all up here like, Brr. but we have a good time on here. And, and y'all are a huge part of that. So I appreciate you. I love you. And we out.